Some people have asked me, why did you make a music video about Korean ajashi? So in Korean, the word ajashi is used for any any man, uh, usually, you know, between the ages of 30 and 50, 30 and 60, could be younger, could be older. Technically, it applies to a married man. My song is not talking about every single man who could be called an ajashi. My song is talking about people who get really drunk and act kind of irresponsibly in the subway stations, could be anywhere. It just happens that this is usually old men. I mean, it's not only old men, but it often is, and they're often the most ridiculous. They are often the ones who pass out in random places. You just see them sprawled on the floor in the subway station, on, on the sidewalk. The question is, is this really a problem in Korean society? Is this a problem that I should have highlighted, that needed to be highlighted? It's not that, like, their state of drunkenness is worse than anywhere else in the world, you know? People all over the world get drunk and act stupid. One of the big differences here is that it is acceptable and even encouraged for older men, older people, people of any age, to get ridiculously drunk. Like in the US, usually it, it's teenagers who, you know, they're not, it's not legal for them to drink, but they get a hold of alcohol and they go nuts. Or college kids who go nuts. It's usually, you know, an age or a type of person, status, whatever, in the US that get that drunk. But here, among, you know, like, well-to-do business people, it is encouraged. It is part of, part of business, even. And so, the problem is that kind of drinking starts way at the top. And it, I mean, thankfully, I don't get the impression that teenagers here really drink a lot because they're so busy studying. College kids do. It's, it's bad in college, but I can't really pick it out because it's bad in any college situation. But the main problem here is that it is acceptable among higher society. The other main difference about the, you know, how drinking society is different here is that it's not people who get incredibly drunk, they're not relegated to one part of the city. It could happen anywhere. Um, like, like I was saying in the US, it's usually people of a certain age or a certain status. Um, usually in the US, like, like people don't get ridiculously drunk in crowded public places, nice public places, because there are police there. There are not, there's not a big police presence here. It is more likely to occur in the areas that have lots and lots and lots of bars, but every place has bars nearby and it can potentially happen in any place. So, in like in my song I'm talking about the subways, and the subways here are really nice and they're clean and they're brightly lit. So when you get someone acting like that in this nice setting, there's like a big clash. In Manhattan, the subway system's not that nice. Therefore, it seems more acceptable to see that kind of person down there. Of course, there are sometimes police in the Manhattan subway system, but... So basically, it's not like, like I'm saying, it's not like they act so terribly here, but the contrast of these nice places and these drunk adjoshes make it seem a lot worse than it is because things are so nice to begin with. 